Hey guys, welcome back to episode 5 of my Road to 120 Slayer series. Every task in this video was actually completed on double XP, so I will be getting twice as much experience for each task, which will be considered into all the calculations. Also, if you guys haven't checked out episode 1 through 4, that will be listed on my channel under the Road to 120 Slayer playlist. So definitely check those out. They are lots of fun and we got some pretty awesome drops in those videos. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So to start off the video, we got our first Reaper task of the series. We ended up getting 7 Vindicta. And I think this is something I will be incorporating into every episode. I think you guys want to see a bit of bossing in this series. So I'll be doing some Reaper tasks to incorporate that. So we got Vindicta for this task. Um, I kind of butchered these kills. I was not very good at all. And I do think part of that reason is there is a bit of a glitch at Vindicta where the purple flames don't really show up right. And I definitely was noticing this. So that did hurt a little bit. I also forgot to bring a shield for the resonance which is something you really need to bring for vindicta but i only had seven kills so i managed without also i want to know do you guys like the idea of having reaper tasks in these videos and if you do comment that down below and let me know anyway for the entire seven kills we did not get one of the unique drops so that was a bit unfortunate but looking at the loot we did obtain we did actually get some pretty good loot so as you can see we made around 1.2 mil just from the seven kills and we actually did get two dragon bone drops so 800k worth of those drops so that was where most of the money did come from and also for completing this reaper task we did get 34,000 slayer xp and so yes this isn't very much slayer xp but it is a nice change compared to all of the slayer tasks we get to do a bit of bossing every episode and hopefully we actually get a unique drop from that. That would be pretty awesome. Anyway, moving on to our next Slayer task. We got one of my favorites. We got 105 Vile Blooms. This is probably my favorite task right now. Um, you make a lot of money off them. And I kind of do enjoy killing them. So I normally kill the Luminous Snagglers. I think these are the best to kill. Um, they do require level 95 Slayer to kill. Um, so they're the second lowest of the Via Blooms. And you get around 1.5k Slayer XP, but I just find the drops that you get from these are just amazing. Um, I would say you average around 50k per kill. So that is really great, and that is the main reason why I choose to do them. They also aren't even that bad to kill. Um, I find if you bind them, that really does help because they will use their main mechanic even less frequently. So every six auto attacks... They will drop these green things from the air, and if they hit you, they will deal a lot of damage. Um, so binding them will make that a little bit less frequently, which does really help. And also dodging them really isn't too much of a problem. And so looking at the loot we did obtain from the 105 kills, we got over 5 mil, so this was really great. Probably one of my best and most profitable Viabloom tasks yet. Um, as you can see, a lot of the money came from the herb, so this might be because it is double XP weekend. Um, the prices did increase a lot, and by the way, I really do love that. So as you can see, the grimy lantodime, they're over 12k right now. Um, I think they actually did increase to 13k by the time I'm uploading this. So it really is crazy how much herbs are going up, and that's going to really help the profit that I am making off of these Slayer tasks. So I really like this task. Definitely going to want to do a lot more, made over 5 mil. Even the XP was great at over 300k XP. And so picking up my next task, we are going to get a Soul Devourer task. So I don't really mind this, 202 of them. Um, they are usually fairly quick to actually kill, um, but usually I don't actually make that much money. So we are going to be killing the Feline Axe. Um, and I'm not going to use the aggression potions. I think they will deal a little bit too much damage if I do that. Um, we're also going to be using magic since they are weak to water spells. Overall, I do find this task pretty easy. Um, they don't really hit that hard unless a lot of them start getting on you. So I don't find it too bad. Usually don't make much money from it, but uh, pretty decent task for XP. So looking at the loot from the Soul Devourer task, we made around 1.8 mil. 
also got around 200k Slayer XP. We did get pretty lucky with 5 Vital Spark drops, so that was nice. Um, definitely did improve from last time, where I don't even think I made 1 mil from probably 200 kills of these. So this was a much better task. Um, it didn't take too long either, probably around half an hour, so definitely a good task and worth doing. And so time to pick up my next task. We actually did end up with a dinosaur task, so we got 88 dinosaurs. But I am going to decide to add these to my prefer list, mostly because the brutish dinosaurs are such great XP. And so looking at my option of each of the four dinosaurs, you can see that the brutish dinosaurs give you an enormous amount of XP compared to all the others. They give you 3100 XP per kill. And on double XP weekend, this is over 6000 per kill. So you can imagine we're going to get a lot of XP from this task. And you also do make some pretty decent money as well. They always drop the dinosaur bones, which are worth around 7k. Um, so you're always going to have that. Plus they have a few other pretty good drops as well. Um, also, since the 120 Herblore update did come out, um, and 120 farming, they did release some new seeds and whatnot. And some of these were actually added to the Brutish Dinosaurs drop table. So, and so looking at the loot, we made around 3.5 mil. And we also got a whopping 545,000 Slayer XP from this task, which is just incredible. And so as you can see, two of the different seeds that were added in the 120 Herblore and farming update... Um, we did manage to actually get so we got the avocado seeds which are worth around 50k each right now and we got 38 of these so made around one mil from just this um we also got 48 tombstone spores which are currently listed at around 12,000 gp and that is at the time of me uploading this so as you can see in the loot check both of these seeds are listed at much lower at 25k and 6k um, so we are actually making more money than what is listed, although I'm just going to go off the 3.5 mil for the loot check. And so it's time to grab another task. We are going to get the Akron Mammoth task. So I actually did just remove this from my block list. I figured I can actually do these. Um, I do hate doing them because they have a lot of mechanics and they usually hit me pretty hard. But I figure it's not too bad. You only get around 30 per task, uh, roughly around there. So it's not um, too bad at all. But I usually do use all the food in my inventory. So the mammoths do have a few different mechanics. So their main mechanic is when a blue bar will, will appear above their head. And when this blue bar fills, they will actually begin charging at you. So if they do hit you when they are charging, it will deal a lot of damage. The best way to counteract this is using Resonance. Um, sometimes I don't actually do this, so I will either run um, just horizontally and dodge the charge. Um, so that is another way to do it. Um, but overall, they do just hit pretty hard in general, and they switch their combat styles, so you can't really just protect melee or protect range. They can do both, so that is a little bit annoying. I mostly just use Soul Split for most of this task. Um, but honestly, I'm not a pro at killing these. Definitely not a pro since I did just remove it from my block list. Um, but actually, they are a pretty good task if you know how to kill them. And I'm hoping I get better and better the more tasks I do get. So we managed to make around 1.4 mil from this task. It was pretty quick, around 20 minutes. So that was uh, really nice. We also got 250,000 Slayer XP, so really great for the amount of time we actually spent on this task. So I really did like that, um, although as I predicted, I used every single piece of food in my inventory to get the 30 kills um, without banking. So that was a bit annoying. They hit me pretty hard, and I made a few pretty big mistakes. So hopefully next time we do a little bit better on that. But overall, I would say it is a pretty good task and definitely worth removing it from the ban list and so next we got a Jadinko's task now I did not decide to cancel it so I actually decided to do this it was a really quick task I used my aggression potions um, and even though there were a ton of them using range attacks on me I managed to finish the task relatively quickly um, and we did get some pretty good XP the drops pretty much a non-existent they suck for drops um, I do think they drop a lot of hard clues but I think my hard clues are max, so I have 25 in my bank, I'm pretty sure. So that's why I didn't get any of those. Anyway, looking at the loot we did obtain from the Jadinko task, 
I only picked up a few random things. We made 44k, basically nothing, and got 101,000 Slayer XP, so that is good. Took about 15 minutes to complete, so not bad. Next, we got a Corrupted Creature task. We're going to be killing 217 of these, and I went with the Corrupted Workers because they are the best Corrupted Creature that you can kill in terms of XP. Um, and I decided to use melee again. I, I really do like using melee against these rather than using magic. I'm not sure why. Um, I just like melee more. And I do find it is pretty quick. So uh, that is what I did decide to do. Um, they do hit pretty hard if you get more than one on you. So I would definitely not use aggression potions here. I think that would be way too much. Um, they hit you way too hard. Anyway, looking at the loot we obtained, we actually got really lucky on this task. We got four key to the crossings, so that is a really nice boost for this task. For just the common drops that we have in our chest, we got around 1.8 mil. So overall, nearly 3 mil from this task. The XP was pretty good as well, at around 283,000 Slayer XP. Now that is it for this episode. We did get a lot of Slayer XP in this one. So we got around 1.75 million Slayer XP in this episode. And that puts us at over 5 million Slayer XP for the series. In terms of the GP, we made around 14.7 mil. So still didn't get a really good unique drop to really boost that. But we did make it over 100 mil for the series. So that is a pretty nice boost. Looking at the Slayer loot tab... It really looks great. We have so many new items in there. Just a variety of pretty cool items. Still only have two really good uniques in the Cinderbane Gloves and the Laceration Boots. So hopefully we do manage to add on to one of those in the next few videos. I am going to be making another video with double XP Slayer tasks. So hopefully we get a lot more gains in that one. And anyway guys, I really hope you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.